It's time for some tech news. My name is Prateek and you're watching Tech This Week on Exhibit. Did you know that Google, the name, actually is a product of a hasty spelling mistake? Larry and Sean were actually aiming to register Google, G-O-O-G-O-L, a mathematical term for the number one followed by a hundred zeros. Sean accidentally registers the word Google and it is what it is. Let's get to the news. Elon finally bought Twitter. On Thursday night, Elon Musk finally bought Twitter and reports say many top management authorities at Twitter are now searching for a new job. These include the CEO, the CFO, people who misled the number of bots on the platform and the one authorizing Donald Trump's account ban. The hip entrepreneur entered the Twitter office with a bathroom sink symbolizing the term let this sink in and also tweeted the bird is freed. Global price increase. Apple is silently increasing its hardware and software solution prices. Subscription services have seen an inflation in their charges across Apple services, including Apple Music, Apple TV Plus and Apple One. Some countries have also witnessed price increases on iPads and Macs. Nothing Year One, the first product from Nothing, has also seen as much as 50% price increase in some markets. Right before the launch of their Nothing Ear Stick, a relatively new and affordable variant with a different form factor. I hope they stick to the pricing in the future at least. Steam, a popular gaming service, has also increased its regional pricing in some parts of the world to almost 450%. As if PC gaming was not an expensive hobby with insane GPU prices. Global price increase needs to be combated with a global pay increase, don't you think so? Share this with your company heads for more info. Also, after blocking 4K content on YouTube to only premium users, YouTube has increased the prices of YouTube premium subscription as well in some or most countries. What is happening with the world and what is this price increase altogether? WTF, there's a new NVIDIA 3060. After the backlash on RTX 4080 and Nvidia pulling out in the right time, RTX 4090 has witnessed some insane claims. One of the only cards to enable high fidelity 4K and 8K gaming, the power connector cannot handle the amount of power required to juice tasty frame rates from the 4090, burning some connectors across the globe. Nvidia has addressed a couple of buyers who have posted this on social media, but a 1.55 lakh rupee card with burnt connector is absolutely not cool. In another news from Nvidia, some countries witnessed a soft launch of Nvidia's popular 3060 variants with an 8GB VRAM 128-bit bus rate instead of the usual 12GB and 192-bit bus rate. This move comes as a competition to Intel's newest Arc GPU releases earlier this month or maybe an offering for gamers on a budget. Whatever it is, thank you Intel. Shutterstock partners with OpenAI DALI 2. Did you know that Getty Images recently banned the use of AI-generated images on their platform? Contrary to their move, Shutterstock has partnered with OpenAI DALI 2 and soon users will be able to generate images based on text commands. Shutterstock has also agreed to pay creators a certain amount of money for training the AI when creating newer images. Not too long ago, a similar AI won an award for the best image creation on one particular internet platform. And now it is time for Shutterstock to come up with crazy DALI 2 created images. What is your take on AI generated art? Is it still an art if thousands of algorithms created it? Gaming improves cognitive performance in kids. A recent study on the JAMA network performed by ABCD, Adolescent Brain Cognitive Development Study, on 2,217 children has shown that kids who regularly play video games are better at problem solving, memory management, impulsive reactions, and many other tasks, including academic achievements, as compared to kids who do not play video games. Allowing kids to play video games and other games profoundly impacts their brain development. Only if this study were done during our childhood would we not be scolded as much over gaming. Kids watching this video, share it with your parents, definitely. Xbox Series S limiting frame rates for everyone. Some game developers are not happy developing games for the Xbox Series S. According to them, the limited capabilities are hindering them from providing more performance in games being developed for the Xbox Series S. Microsoft has made it mandatory for developers to make games compatible with both the Series X and the Series S. Gotham Knight is a prime example of this shortcoming. 
as the developers clearly stated in a tweet that the game runs on 30 FPS even on more powerful Series X only to ensure compatibility with the Series S. What's the point of upgrading to 4K high refresh rate display when the games are being limited by one puny console? A photonic chip, the fastest internet chip as of today. A single photonic chip has made a world record by transferring 1.84 petabytes of data per second over a 7.9 kilometer fiber optic cable. That's like moving all the internet files across the globe in less than 10 minutes. I'm still stuck by a few hundred megabytes per second here in India. Researchers from Japan, Denmark and Sweden managed to split infrared signals into multiple light sources and then combine them together as one on the receiving end, making this amazing feat a reality. Amazon data centers in UK and Ireland are now running on diesel generators. Following an energy crisis in UK and Ireland, Amazon data centers in Dublin are installing 105 high power diesel generators as backups. It is estimated that the data center is responsible for over 14% power consumption of entire Dublin. Intel's 13th generation i9 breaks an 8-year-old frequency record. AMD FX8370 set a world record back in 2014 by overclocking to an insane 8722.78 MHz. Intel's latest i9, the 3900K, managed to set a new world record by overclocking to a mind-bending 8812.85 MHz, nearly double the core clock speed offered in the retail packaging. Finally, after taking a beating from similar the retail priced AMD competition, Intel has managed to garner a win in some departments. Good job Intel on making something so powerful at the same time being so power hungry. Samsung has started development for a smart ring. Smart wearables come in all shapes and sizes. Samsung is currently developing a smart ring with all the necessary features of a fitness tracker. Snugly packed inside a neat ring, be careful to accept this ring as a proposal as it could spike your heart rates and trigger an emergency service SOS. Would you wear a ring when occasion calls for dressing neat? Well, only time shall reveal. Google Stadia services have ended, but the gaming does not stop right there. After Google announced that they are pulling the plug on Stadia streaming services, people playing games on the platform are backed by game developers. As a piece of good news, game developers are offering free copies with free save backups for everyone playing their games on Stadia as a platform. These free copies are provided to all Stadia gamers based on their choice of gaming platform and also cloud saves are offered as transferable entities to continue gaming on any platform of your choice. Do we trust Google with anything with the rate at which they keep shutting down services? These were all the happenings of the week. Let us know what do you think about tech happenings across the globe. Stay tuned as we bring you more such tech news every week. Subscribe to our channel in the meantime, check out our other videos and share this video for everybody interested in some tech news. Until next time, adios amigo.